Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to an offensive guide on Lunar Colony. This is Waffle here on behalf of Powerhouse Gaming, and let's get started. So let's get started here. Uh, this is the main spawn area. Uh, there are several areas you can leave spawn with. You can go over here. You can go up over here. The door is there. Otherwise, they all pretty much lead to the same spot. So anyways, when you're on attack, this is the major, major sight line here where you're going to be defending from uh, defenders. They're going to be shooting down here and down here. They have total sight liners there. They're usually going to be set up in the entire upper row up there. Same show with this graphic. They're going to be all up there. They're all going to shoot down there. Sometimes there's a Torbjorn turret here. What you want to do is get a Winston or a, a Reinhardt a bubble or a shield this area right here so that they have a hard time shooting on your team. Run over here and uh, make sure there's no one down here and there's no one on this butt. On these stairs, if there is someone, make sure you kill them or shoot them off or make them go back. Sometimes they'll be set up here. But you don't want to wait. You don't want to sit and wait and just like, poke at them. You just, just run out here. Your whole team, everyone, come out, everyone out here. Once everyone's out here, get your Sombra to hack this health pack. It's very good, it's a big health pack, and you can use it to poke up here. This is usually where the uh, defending team's gonna set up. They're gonna run here, they're gonna run up front here. It doesn't matter because you're at an advantage. You have a huge health pack there, they do not. You can shoot out here, and unfortunately they can choose their engagements, and you have to choose your engagements. Otherwise you can just barrel on through here. They don't really have any defensive holds here, so they'll have no choice but to back up or choose to be killed. After you've taken this up here, uh, upper spot down here, you can go down here into here where there's another health pack here. You can take over bottom, uh, clear out any enemies, and watch out for junk rat traps. Anyway, so when you're attacking, you push here. See, it's very hard to deal with. So you can just shoot here, shoot here, shoot here. Uh, good spots to hack a Sombra offensively is to hack this health pack and then health pack just behind the screen thing over here, out of my eye. Um, Hack these two health packs, they'll have no access to health pack, they'll have to rely on the healers only. Then you just go back here as Genji, dive their supports, and it should be clear on out. Alright, so we've taken the first point, and the defenders are falling back. If they're smart, or, they're, or their tanks are still alive, they'll probably hold up on top of here on this high ground, which is very, very smart, because this is a choke point, kind of like Hanamura. Imagine Hanamura's second point, but in front of the big health pack, kind of like this. So, an offense, you want to take advantage of that. Usually, it's a bad idea to poke here. They can see you immediately, the tank can see you immediately. Fire strikes like to come down here from Reinhardt's. I like to go over here as a support, DPS, or anyone, because you can climb up onto this thing like a pedestal, just start shooting, and if you feel threatened, just back up, get your health pack, come back up here again, just keep shooting. So, as an offen uh, offensive team, how do you break this area? Well, it's actually pretty hard. Um, but you'll have to poke into here, get your supports into here, watch out for a Winston coming in, so you might want to post your Reaper in here somewhere. And when he jumps in, boom, 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 he's dead, he's dead! Make sure he's dead. So once you take this area, you want to charge up onto the upper high ground here, get your Winston on here, get your Reapers up here, get your Soldiers up here, get your Tracers not here. Make sure Tracer goes that way. Um, and yeah, you'll take over Green Room and it's all yours. So, now we're on to the last and third point, which is the... Oh, the, the worst part of this map. I really don't like this area because they, the defending team gets to have this thing. This thing is so powerful. You can get Widows, you can get Genjis, you can get Faros up there. They're all up there and they can rain whatever hell they want down. Now, um, the only way to really clear it is to get a Winston up there, just post him up there, get a Reaper to teleport up there, get a, anybody. Just make sure you take care of that area and it's pretty much free reign for your team. Um, as offense classes on offense, yeah. <laughs> Did I just say that? Offense class is not offense. Anyways, so um, get your sound attack. This health pack it's a nice big health pack. Come back, comes back regularly. You can poke at enemy defenses here where they'll be posted over here. Um, now the hardest part is peeking this area where Widow would be, but it'll be very hard for her to land a shot here. Really, realistically, this is where she's gonna be shooting. So you can just safely poke here. Poke, poke, poke. Really nice spot for a Zenyatta. A really nice spot for a Soldier. Uh, an offensive Widowmaker, maybe. Do not, as an at attacking team, go through main. Main is absolutely terrible. Unless you're Reinhardt and, like, an Orisa, both in the safe map. But even then, it's a bad spot. Your supports are going to be on high ground. Your shields are only going to go through here. You're completely exposed. 
leaving for seniors supposed to either be here or here. Okay, but guess what happens? Reaper comes in, traps everybody, then forces you here. May puts up a May wall, you guys are all trapped here. This is just a gauntlet. I wouldn't stand here unless you're a Reinhardt. But even if I was a Reinhardt, if, if I had to stand here, I'd stand here. You get every single advantage you have here, but here. All you have to do is just move a little bit more. Um, and yeah, point should be yours, and that should be it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this Lunar Colony guide. I am Waffle Gaming, and my channel will be in the description if you're interested. I make tutorials, but not of this game yet. I will be making them soon, but that's not important. And yeah, that's it. Uh, good luck to you guys in your, in your matchmaking climb, and have fun. Are you